How y'all doing? It's Papa again. I don't hear nothing out of nobody about Papa. Is that fast train approved? <laughs> the holiday season officially food does not have calories now. So y'all, everybody's been riding a fat train with me. Y'all just go hog wild through New Year's Day. I don't hear nothing out of you. <laughs> I want to thank one of my viewers, uh, Patty Minger, for sharing this recipe with me. This is the peanut butter no-bake cornflake cookies. Y'all, you can, you can cut them. You know, on a cookie sheet, whatever. But I love them things. And she had seen my my favorite cookies, the chocolate oatmeal no bakes that I made. And she said these these are the ones I really like. Cause I like them too. So I had to try them. So I told my wife, I said, get me some corn flakes at the grocery store. I said I think I got everything else. So stick around. I'm gonna show you how easy these are to make. And they are oh so good. Oh. <laughs> the ingredients to make these cookies are so so simple. One cup, one cup, one cup. One cup of sugar. One cup, and she called it Cairo light corn syrup. But I made these others just have this other brand, light corn syrup, because it was on sale and it's best used by 2012 so it's good <laughs> and I do want you to see that we are making a new batch this is not the trick of the camera where where we start some and it up you're gonna see a, a whole new one mm. and I want to show y'all a trick first of all one of the hardest things to measure is a cup of peanut butter. If you've ever tried to measure a cup of peanut butter, then you know it can sure enough be a pain in the patootie. Peanut butter sticks to your measuring cup terribly. And it's so hard to be accurate. Then if you do get it packed in that measuring cup just right, let's say, let's say I use this right here which is a one cup measurement. Let's say I use that right there and I get it nice and straight across there with a knife. I still got to get it out of here. Now how do I get it all out? Well, here's a little technique I learned a long time ago and I forget what it was. Might have been when I was measuring, having to measure Crisco or something. I don't know, or measure lard. First of all, the ingredients are one cup of sugar, one cup of light corn syrup and one cup of peanut butter so if you've got a liquid that's involved when you're measuring when you need to measure out peanut butter get you a in this case I need one cup of each so I'm using a two cup measuring cup and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cup of Cairo syrup in here first or I call it K-Row just out of habit, just like calling something off Crescent Ranch or Vice Grips when they ain't maybe a Vice Grip company. But anyway, of course, if I pull the lid off this thing, it would have gone quicker. Anyway, we want to get a cup. Almost there. There we are. Okay. So there, I've got a cup of light corn syrup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my peanut butter to this until it comes up to two cups. I'm going to do it down here. I ain't going to try to hold it up and do it. I need more. So, let's see. I found this sitting up in the cabinet. I 
found this sitting up in the cabinet. This is some Smucker's natural peanut butter. But look at how the oil is separated. So I got to mix this up. Well, let me get out the electric drill if I can't find a mixer. <laughs> oh, lo oh, oh, there it is. I don't have enough stuff in my way here. I need to find me a good woman that likes to clean house. I've got a good woman, I just need to find a good one that likes to clean house. Come on, Paw Paw, stick it in there. That didn't work too good. Shit. <laughs> I swung that shit all over the damn place. I got all over me, the kitchen counter. Oh well, hell with it. I'm putting it in here anyway. <laughs> God. I ain't, I ain't editing that out. That shit's important. Y'all need to learn from my mistakes. Uh, one of a sitch. You can see, you see how the peanut butter sitting up on top of that K Row syrup or the corn syrup. So now then we just dump that right in the pot. And very little of it stuck to the measuring cup. we have the we've got the light corn syrup and the peanut butter in there one cup of each that gun peanut oil man it made a mess gosh that's a mess oh. alright oh. don't need this here no more so let's get us, I don't have the eye on so I'll move it out I got some odd damn bags of sugar here, so we'll try to use up these. I need a cup of sugar. For those of you that don't have a measuring cup, it's, it's a half a pound. All right. So there we are. That's all the ingredients we need to heat up. Now, what I'm going to do is 
is I'm gonna put this on a real low heat. I'm gonna use a small element and I mean turn it down low. You do not even want to burn this. This don't have a lot of liquid in there. There ain't a bunch of oil in there other than the, other than the peanut butter or peanut oil. So there's nothing here to see for a little while. I'm gonna stir it up as it heats. I'm gonna stir it and bring it to a boil. So I'm just gonna shut this off for a minute because I don't know how long it's gonna take. I will tell you, let's see, we can look at the timer here. It says 206. So we'll see how many minutes pass by before this is ready. Well, would you believe? Would you believe that in the, in the midst of all this crap going on around here, look what I find. Another jar of Jif, almost full. God, what a mess I made for no reason at all. Ugh. Okay, so it's been over 20 minutes and I barely bumped the heat up to just below simmer on this stove. And I want you to see that it's not a rolling boil, but it is bubbling. You see bubbles forming out here. First thing you can possibly do is get in a hurry. You get in a hurry at this stuff and you're going to burn it. So you want to, the instructions that was given to me was bring it to a rolling boil. Well, here's what I do. Well, I got some of this, some of this no bake goodies like the the chocolate oatmeal cookies and and stuff like this right here. Any kind of candy I make, any kind of fudge. I wait to see will it if it cools will it harden or at least stay stiff. And you have to to get a true picture. You got to use a. a, a, a utensil that's not hot like I wouldn't want to use the spoon I've been using in here because obviously it's hot and it's going to run off of it but see how see how what's on that fork has pretty much stayed there so this is just about perfect now mm, 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 mm. so I'm going to let this bubble just a little bit Now we now then we're going to add recipe said six cups of cornflakes. So in case y'all was wondering why I was mixing this up in such a big container, because I got to add these cornflakes to it. These are just Millville cornflakes from Aldi. Nothing fancy, nothing special. You can add all kinds of stuff to this. You can do this with Cheerios. You can do it with Rice Krispies. Do it with any kind of what I call a filler. Anything that's going to take up space, give it more bulk and all that. All right. Well, it's already, you can see in the bottom there, it's already starting to get a little funky there. I'm going to turn my heat off now. And I'm going to add about six cups of cornflakes. That's what it calls for, is six cups. I'm going to put that much in there, ever how much that is. The idea is just get them all coated. Now all, all I'm doing is just stirring it up till I've got it mixed well. I'm not trying to cook the cornflakes, they're already cooked. You just want to stir it up till we've got it coated. We all stick together. By Jove, I think we've got it. Alright. This little pizza pan. Got a little bit of oil on there from where I sprayed it yesterday. 
when I made this other batch, canola oil. All I'm going to do is just roll this out on there. Well, looks like we got lucky. I don't see any that burned. Ha <laughs> ha! And now then we'll let it cool. Well, all right, we've let it cool a while. Let's check it out. All right. The bottom of the pan is still warm. So this thing is not cold. It's not, you know, real cold yet. But, oh man, look at that. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Remember, remember boys and girls, <laughs> there's no calories in holiday treats. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is good. Thank you. Bye.